Hello and welcome everyone. A very quick video. We're going to see how we can use the stock history function in order to get the exchange rate history in Excel. So you can select any pair of currencies and then you can get the exchange rate for them for a certain period all inside Excel without going to any other websites. Let's go directly and see how we can do this together. Suppose that your boss asks you to provide a trend line for the historical exchange rate between USD and Euro for the past, let's say, 12 or 15 months. The first thing that you're going to think about is to go to the internet, try to Google a site that can provide this exchange rate, and then you download a file, and then you take it to Excel, and so on and so forth, until you provide this trend line. However, in my mind, the best thing to do is to work it all inside Excel, exactly like this small model that I have now. So on the top left, you can see that I can select between some currencies. I already prepared a list of six currencies, all in relation to USD. And also I can determine how many months I want to go back into the history. So now I already selected 12, I can make it 15. You will see that the trend line will be adjusted and also the table will be adjusted. I can select any currency here. I can select USD compared to AED or Arab Emirates dirhams, you'll see that the trend updated and everything is working perfectly. Let's go directly and have a look together how we can build a very small model like this one. At the beginning, I need to prepare the list of currencies that I'm going to use. By the way, the list is endless. You can choose between any two currencies, it's up to you, but for this purpose, I just prepared six currencies, all in relation to USD. You have to write it correctly, you have to write the three letters abbreviation for each currency, so the United States dollars will be USD, the Egyptian pounds will be EGP, Great Britain pounds will be GPP, so you have to use the correct abbreviation, and between the two abbreviations, you need to use the slash, then you can get the exchange rate between USD and Euro and so on and so forth. At the beginning, I'm going to prepare just a validation so I can select from this list. So while selecting E4, I'm going to the data ribbon. On the right hand side, I'm going to select validation and then I'm going to select list and I'm going to select the source of the list which will be from B4 up to B9 and then click on OK and here you go, you have the drop down, you can select whatever you want. Now I can just hide this column. I, I will use it only if I need to update the list of currencies. And let's start by USD to Euro. The second requirement will be how many months back you want the history. So let's start by let's say six months or so. And I want the start date. Actually, I'm going to postpone this until I find the end date. The end date, I want it to be today. So I need always, whenever I open this Excel sheet, I see just the today's date. So I'm going to use the function today. Today will give you the date of today and will be updated automatically with the date of your machine. Now let's calculate the start date. I want to go six months back starting from today. So I'm going to use a function called eDate. So I'm going to type equal and then eDate the start date will be the date of today, which will be stored in E7. So I'm going to select E7 and then comma. I want to go back six months. E date can move the dates backward or forward. In case of forward, I'm going to add like positive one, positive two, positive three. In case of backward, I'm going to use the negative one, negative two, and so on and so forth. In our case, so I'm going to type negative or minus and then we're going to select e5 and then close the bracket and hit enter and here you go i have the date of today 13th march going back six months it will be 13th of september 23. now i'm ready i'm just going to use the function the function that i'm going to use will be stock history it's obvious that stock history is usually used to get the history of the stocks. However, it can also be used in order to get the history of the exchange rates between two currencies. So let's go directly and type this together. I'm going to type equal and then stock history. 
the first choice or the first parameter will be the stock itself in this case it will not be the stock it will be the abbreviation of both currencies separated by the slash so i'm going to select e4 and then comma i'm going i need the start date the start date will be in cell e6 and then comma the end date end date will be in the cell e7 and then comma the final parameter that I need will be the interval. So it will ask you this function if you want the data coming daily, weekly or monthly. Because you want to go long time in the history, I think the monthly will be useful. So I'm going to type 2 or select monthly and then close the bracket and hit enter. Here you go. It took a very short period and this table was produced and you see the history of six months of exchange rate between USD and EUR or euros and for sure you need to be connected to the internet and this model can help you to change the currency that you are selecting so i can select the saudi real versus usd i can also change the period to 12 months or so you see that it is connected to the internet and bring the information right away if you check this exchange rate you will find it accurate or at least close enough if you want to report on them finally you just need to draw the chart or the trend line i'm going to select the table and then from insert i'm going to insert line chart and then line chart and all is good if you want the header to be also dynamic i can just select the box of the header and going to the formula bar type equal and then select e4 and hit enter here you go whenever you change the currency let's change to usd against egp you'll find that the header is changing the trend line changing and the table also dynamically updating that was all for today if you like this video please like it share it leave me a comment and subscribe you will find some useful links here please check them out see you next video and bye